and mail Rishabhna GH-313 operating instructions. Please select Relative Number on the image screen. If unselect or press play button, image will automatically play initially. One, safety instructions. One dash one. For your own safety, be sure to watch this disc and read the operation manual. Follow the correct operations to use this machine to avoid any accidental injury. 1-2 When in use, place the machine at a steady position. Do not place it at any high location to avoid it falling and damage the machine. 1-3 The rubber base should not be placed at any amictic object to avoid unstable the machine. 1-4 Be sure to select the proper voltage. Please change the fuse by yourself if plug the improper voltage. 1-5 Determine the material of end mill before grinding. Please use SDC diamond wheel for carbide end mill. Please use CBN diamond wheel for HSS end mill. 1-6 Be sure to do every cleaning well to maintain the life of the machine, especially for the three sharpening ports. If not, the accessories may be worn down and affect the precision of grinding. 2. Names of components 2-1 Front View Alignment Base Hardened Treatment to protect the alignment base Alignment Knob Fixed Block Primary Edge Resharpening Port Secondary Clearance Angle Port End Gash Port Power Switch Handle Serial Number Rubber Base 2-2 Side View Knob For 2 and 4 Flute End Mill ER Collet Holder Set For 3 Flute End Mill ER Collet Holder Set ER collets 4 mm Allen key 2 3 back view voltage 2 in 1 power socket fuse base hole for grinding dust out 3 operations 5 steps of using the Resharpener GH-313 Step 1 Set up the end mill to the ER collet holder. Determine diameter and flute of your end mill and then select the proper collet and collet holder. Insert collet into collet holder. Insert end mill into collet holder and let it jut out 35 mm. Then tighten nut slightly but free to turn. Adjust the flute with its edge over center point and have it to be parallel with the benchmark notch. Complete advanced operating resharpener with upper steps. Step 2 Align end mill. Set alignment knob to the proper number according to the diameter of the end mill. E.g. end mill diameter 8 mm, set the scale to 8. Pointing holder's benchmark notch at triangle mark of alignment base and insert it to the base. Screw the ER nut clockwise until it touches border. Press end mill of alignment base and rotate the flute with edge over center point clockwise until it touches the alignment block. Press end mill of alignment base and tighten the ER nut until the end mill is supported but free to turn. Pull out the holder counterclockwise. Confirm the flute is parallel with the notch. Then tighten up the holder. If it's not parallel, please repeat the alignment steps. Step 3. Primary edge resharpening. Switch on machine. 
pointing ER holder at the notch of edge resharpening port 1. Insert the holder into the port 1 with a slightly push motion for grinding. Take out the holder with the end mill and rotate it clockwise to change to another flute. Repeat the above steps until the resharpening for all flutes edges is complete. If the relief needs to be adjusted, please use provided 4mm hex wrench to loosen the screws in the sharpening port 1. Rotate clockwise toward symbol plus to increase. Rotate counterclockwise toward symbol minus to decrease. Tighten after relief setting. Step 4. Secondary clearance angle sharpening. Before operate the clearance angle sharpening, be sure adjust the plate at 4T of clearance angle sharpening port 2. 4-1. Secondary clearance angle sharpening for 4 flute. Pointing ER holder at screw for clearance angle sharpening port 2. Insert it to the port with a slightly push motion to sharpen until grinding noise disappear. Take out the holder with end mill and change to another flute. Repeat the above steps until the sharpening for all flutes angle is complete. If you need to sharpen the secondary clearance angle completely, loosen the screws in the secondary clearance angle port. The rotate ranges for two flute and three flute are different. 4-2 Secondary clearance angle sharpening for 3 flute. Insert the ER holder into the port with a slightly push motion. And the rotation ER holder causes the plate to adjust to the symbol of 3T. Back and forth revolve this and rotate the benchmark notch side only. 4-3. Secondary clearance angle sharpening for 2 flute. Insert ER holder into the port with a slightly push motion and the rotation ER holder causes the plate to adjust to the symbol 2T. Back and forth revolvers. To sum up, the grinding should start from the 4T pointed at the benchmark notch. If you use a special 2T wheel, insert ER holder into port 2 with a slightly push motion. Rotate plate is unnecessary. Step 5. End gash sharpening. Pointing ER holder at screw and keyways of end gash sharpening port 3. Insert it to the port with a slightly push motion. For precise and average grinding, hold tight the upper part of the ER holder with one hand and move the lower part at both sides with another hand to sharpen until grinding noise disappear. Take out the holder with end mill and change to another flute. Repeat the above steps until the sharpening for all flutes and gashes is complete. Take out the end mill from the holder and inspect it. 4. Attention of replacing wheel and operation of replacing wheel. 4-1. Attention of replacing wheel. 4-1.1. Determine the material of end mill before grinding. Please use SDC diamond wheel for carbide end mill. Please use CBN diamond wheel for HSS end mill. 4-1.2 Determine the flute of the end mill and use the proper collet holder. GH-313 is suitable for 2, 3 and 4 flute end mill. 4-1.3 Aligning end mill is the most important among the steps. Make sure to complete this step before grinding. 4-1.4 This machine is guaranteed for one year under normal operating. Expendable parts and wheels are exceptions. Please inform the serial number, see names of components when the machine need to be repaired. 4-1.5 For end mill diameter 4 to 5 mm, be sure to push with very slightly motion while grinding the primary edge due the outer diameter of wheel is smaller. 4-1.6 The motor cannot run continuously over one hour. 4-2 Replacing the wheel Please confirm that the switched off and unplugged machine only guarantees security. 4-2.1 Removing the wheel cover 
Loosen the three screws in the wheel cover counterclockwise with 4mm Allen key. Take out the cover. 4-2.2 Remove the washer and wheel. Hold the wheel with left hand and loosen the screw counterclockwise with 4mm Allen key with right hand. Take out the screw, black washer and wheel. Replace the wheel after the temperature of the wheel goes down to normal temperature. 4-2.3 Cleaning the grinding dust. Clean the grinding dust with pressurized air and wipe the outside with dry cloth. 4-2.4 Replacing the new wheel. Please use A wheel when diameter 4 to 5 mm, 6 to 30 mm use B wheel. 2T especially use C wheel. Take a new proper wheel, then reinstall wheel, washer, screw and wheel cover namely completed. The motor hub is very precise. It will be damaged by excessive force and affect the position of the wheel accordingly. 5. Maintenance 5-1. Cleaning screws in collet holders. Cleaning dust in thread and bearing of screws with pressurized air. 5-2. Cleaning nuts of collet holders. Cleaning the inner thread and outer diameter of nut with pressurized air. 5-3. Cleaning collets. Cleaning the outer diameter and interstices of collet with pressurized air. Clean thoroughly with dry clothes according screws, nuts, collets, main body and grinding ports. Finally wipe the three pores with diluted anti-rust oil. 5-4. Replacing the fuse. Use a flathead screwdriver to push out the cover slightly. Two fuse included. One fuse for backup, another one for use. Use a proper tool to take out the broken fuse and replace a new one. After change the fuse, push the cover into the original position slightly with a click to get the fixed position. Switch on the machine to check whether everything is regular. And Mary Sharpener GH-313 is easy, fast, accurately and safe to operate. Keep your end mill retain the best.